Hi, this is Deirdre McNamara from Letterkenny IT. This is the third video in the Microsoft Word uh, 2010 series. Today we're going to take a look at paragraphs and in particular we'll take a look at alignment, we're going to take a look at indentation and we're going to take a look at line spacing. So just to save me some time, I've actually done a bit of typing in here uh, that we're going to use in this exercise. Now, by default uh, in English, we have a smooth edge on the left hand side. So you can notice this edge here is nice and smooth and this is left alignment and you'll notice this button up here is already pressed in. That's the default setting in Microsoft Word. You'll notice we have a slightly jaggy edge on this side and that's the normal formatting in business. Um, another type of alignment you can use is justification and that's this button up here. Uh, that's justified. So if I click on that button there you'll now notice that we've got a smooth edge on the left and also on the right. This is not normally used um, in uh, business. Sorry, that's just an error message. Um, and uh, I, I recommend that you don't use it for, for business um, letters and uh, reports, etc. It is used in newspapers, etc. Uh, and the way that they get a smooth edge on the right hand side is by increasing the spaces on some of the lines, but not on others. And it's just harder to read. So the normal setting is to have left alignment. So we're back on left alignment. Now for headings you'll often use um, centre alignment. So I'm just going to put a heading above this here. So I'm just going to click in here uh, and I'm going to press enter to make myself a blank line up above. So I'm just going to type in the word title. Um, and I want this title to be centre aligned. So I'm going to choose centre alignment here and you'll notice that the um, title is centre aligned. Um, and on the keyboard it's possible to do this. It's Control and L for left alignment. So on my keyboard now, I'm holding down the CTRL key and then I'm tapping the, the letter L and that moves to the left. Control and right is C Control R. That's the right alignment. Control and E is what you use for center. Control and C is copy, so they can't use that for center. So it's the second letter, so Control and E uh, for center. Okay, so that's the main uh, thing in alignment. The next thing we're going to take a look at um, is indentation. And to do that, I'd like a few more paragraphs. So I'm just going to copy this paragraph a few times so I have some text to work with. So I'm going to select it first of all. I'm clicking and dragging. Ignore that error message. Clicking and dragging to select the paragraph. Um, and I'm going to use this button up here or I can do Control and C to copy. So I'm going to go copy. I'm going to click down underneath just beyond this paragraph here. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to go paste. And I'm going to paste again. And I'm going to paste until I just have loads and loads of pages and pages. I'm clicking madly on that paste button. So I have loads of um, text to work with. To get back up to the start of my document, down here you can see I'm on page 7 of 7. So rather than scrolling the whole way up, I'm going to do Control and Home, which brings me back up to the start of my document. So I leave the first paragraph alone and I'll start to work in the second paragraph. So in here, uh, I'm in the second paragraph uh, and I'm going to indent it. Now this button's here, um, indent, decrease indent and increase indent. So I'm just going to use this simple button here and you can see it indents it, it pushes it in from the left hand margin of the page. Okay, I could press it again if I want and again and that pushes it in quite far from the left hand side of the page. Um, now, to be very specific about how far it goes in, if I use this button here, the More Buttons button here, and indentation, at the moment that's 5.08 centimetres. I could type in that I want it to be, for example, 1.5 centimetres, and click on OK. And this is now 1.5 centimetres indent from the margin, not from the edge of the page, from the margin uh, of the page. I can also indent from the right hand side. So I'll click into my third paragraph here to see that. So I'm going to um, click up here and indentation and right. And I'll just make this dramatic. I'll make it maybe four centimeters and OK. And you can see it's now pushed in from the right hand margin of the page. It's gone in four centimeters from the right hand margin of the page. I don't use it that much, but just so you know uh, what it is. Uh, OK. Um, so the next thing I'm going to take a look at um, is a first line indentation. I'm going to show you this. It's not really used in business anymore, but just so you know what it is. Uh, if you click on the more buttons button in here again, and um, I'm doing here indentation special. And in here, I'm just going to go first line and I'll say by, for example, two centimeters. 
and OK. And you can see the first line of the paragraph has been pushed in by two centimetres. Um, and I'll just undo that to bring me back to normal again. I'll go into paragraphs again. I'm going to choose hanging indentation. I'm going to choose by three centimetres. So hanging by three centimetres and OK. And so every line except the first line is indented by three centimetres. Now I sometimes use this one. If you just click at the very start there and type in, for example, um, cost and then press tab on your keyboard, it's like you've created a little heading and I'm just going to make it bold so it stands out. You've got a little heading out in the margin and then the paragraph relating to cost. So that can be used um, still in Microsoft Word. OK, so that's uh, indentation. The next thing we're going to take a look at is line spacing. Um, and in Office 2010, by default, you get single line spacing within the paragraph and you get double line spacing between the paragraphs. Now, a paragraph is anything in Microsoft Word that ends in a carriage return. So I'm just going to display my carriage returns here. Um, and you get a carriage return every time you press enter on the keyboard. So you can see single line between the lines and double line spacing between the paragraphs. So I'm going to select um, just a few paragraphs along here and I'm going to change that. So um, in here I'm going to choose uh, more, uh, more uh, buttons there. And spacing here, I'm going to change this to single line spacing between the paragraphs and I'm going to go with double line spacing within the paragraph and click on OK. And you can see I've got big gaps in the paragraph and just the same between the paragraphs. I'm going to bring it back if I wanted to tighten this up. I'll bring it to single line spacing and OK. And you can see it's now um, very tight. So I'm going to just go back in again and increase it up to 18 points single line spacing in the paragraph and a big gap between the paragraphs and OK. And you can see again here it's tight in the paragraph but a big gap between uh, the paragraphs. OK, this is the end of the third video.